after three and a half years of this world is being destroyed, you come back, you walk out from the ashes of the wicked, and you rule for a thousand years, right here, with mm. God. But there's still sea. The sea is there. Right? Amen. But then at the end of the millennium comes the second resurrection, and all the wicked people is resurrected up again. And God judges them, and after he had judges them, he burns off the earth. Now, this is now the, the baptism that Rabban was talking about here. Mm. That is now the baptism that he burns off the earth, and even the sea explodes. And then after that, there shall be no more sea. And then, when there is no more sea, John said, and I, John, looked into heaven, and I saw the new Jerusalem descending okay. out of heaven. Mm. When God destroys the earth, He gives it a fire. Do you understand? Amen. That is after the millennium, after the second resurrection, because God's got to judge all the peoples that lived in all the times. You know, people that lived in the time of Noah, in the time of Jesus, the time of Moses. All of those people got to be resurrected. Pharaoh will be resurrected. Cain will be resurrected. Jezebel will be resurrected. Good. Ahab will be resurrected. Everyone that you read about in the scriptures, they will be resurrected. Mm. After the millennium, some of them. I don't know who, is, who, who are very saints. I don't know. You know. <laughs> it looks like some of them is not saints. Uh, Jezebel will be resurrected, and then they will be judged. And as they are judged, then God blows explosion. Now this time is God. Amen. And he explodes all the ancient ocean. Now, the water that's in the ocean are two times more than the dry land. So what is God doing now when he's exploding the, the, uh, the water? He's making the land two times bigger. Because now he's going to save some people. And that's what chapter 35. And the sheep will be standing before him. After during during the judgment, great white throne judgment, when he's judging everybody, those people have done some good. Some people will be saved. That I hope you get it. Yes, sir. Um, some people have given a Christian a glass of water. You know, amen. You saved them. Amen. You understand now? Hallelujah. Now there's a lot of people that will be saved now, and now they will live not in the city. Not all of them live in. The city. They will live outside this. Now, out of mm. But there's a city now where God and his wife are living. That's the new Jerusalem now. This mm. A city four square, 1,500 miles, 2,400 kilometers, 1,500 miles square at the bottom, and the shape of a pyramid going up. 1,500, 2,400 kilometers up to the summit. It's the whole Now you see that city that he was building up there. He's bringing it down now. After the millennium, now he's bringing it down here. Yeah. See now, Powerful. And it's eternity. Amen. Then we're going into eternity now. That's There'll true. be no more judgment anymore. There'll be no more sinner anymore. There'll be no more sin anymore. There'll be no more devil anymore. You see, the devil is bound for a thousand years during the millennium. Then he's loosened after the millennium. Then he, then he, him and his people that have sinned throughout all the ages are judged and burned. Thrown and the then eternity sets in. But now there's a wife and there's a husband. God is the husband and the bride is the wife. Amen. But then there's other people. That's right. So the king and his queen lives in the new Jerusalem city. And they rule over the rest. Hallelujah. And now the Bible says, and the kings shall bring their produce into the city. You know, God, sometimes when I was going through all my struggles and things, why do I have to suffer like this and stuff like that? And then I read the scripture. And in the scripture it says, You shall drink the milk of kings. I was thinking, where's me? I'll drink the milk of kings. Yes, if you are part.
part of the bride. Amen. We'll be living in that city. City for all square. Can you imagine? It's a massive city. Can you imagine how the moon is coming up? As the day, the, the, you know, as the night is falling. And you see that huge moon coming up. Now that city will be high. It's going up high. You know, <laughs> Hallelujah. 2,400 kilometers high to the summit. It's called the Holy Mountain. And the nations that lives around you says, let us go to the holy mountain and let us take some milk up there. Mm. You understand? Oh, brother. <laughs> let us take some produce. For the king has given us grace. Hey. Some of them, well, maybe they just give, give the glass of water to somebody. My, my brother, can you see the two different classes? Amen. Mm. There is a bride, and she walks in all of you. And there is other people that will have to be judged because they didn't walk in all of you. You understand? So you don't want to be in that second group. No, sir. You want to be in that first group. You want to be the bride. You want to be the bride. Mm. You want to live in that city. My brother, let us strive. Sisters, let us strive to yes. be in that city. Amen. Let us hear the word of God as preached by his servant. Mm. Right? Noah was saying in that time. Brother Brown is in this time. You understand? Amen. He sent in this time to prepare what? The bride. A bride for God. Hallelujah. Yes, a bride for Isaac. Here's the servant. Eliezer sent in this time. Says, go look for me for a wife between those wicked people. But don't go to people that are not my family. <laughs> so you got to become family of God. Those that have the got to get the Holy Spirit mm. so that we can be family. Yeah. You understand how I mean? Yes, family. Hallelujah. Family. God bless you, my friend. Amen. I hope you understand. This is how the <clears throat> uh, New Jerusalem is going to be. Amen. It's going to come down after the millennium. We're going to be here on earth and we're going to build houses and things like that. When I don't know by what power, maybe by where it goes. But we're going to build houses here for the millennium. And then that is our houses that we will live in for a thousand years during the bride's rule with Christ. Then after the bride's rule of Christ is finished, the second resurrection comes up. And everybody that is sinful is going to be judged. And then after that, the house that God built comes down to earth for his bride. The rest of the people, right, they receive grace. And they live outside the city. Now, I want to say this because you don't want to follow this. Say it like it is, brother. You don't want to follow the message for your heart. How long? Say it like it is. Say it like it is. Ah, you to go It's true. And you're going Just to true. Hallelujah. I have sent you Elijah the prophet. Why do you listen to him? Mm. In the times of the people that lived in the time of Noah said, I have sent you Noah. Why do you listen to him? People that lived Moses. in the time of Moses, I have sent you Moses. Pharaoh, why do you listen to him? Oh, I have sent you Jesus Christ. Mm. I have sent you the Lord. I myself have descended. Oh. <laughs> and I was introduced by John the Baptist. Why didn't you listen? Oh, man. So, oh. Now you see there was a full right. virgin throughout all, all ages. the ages. Oh, man. Because there was a true bride throughout all the ages. Yes, sir. There was a bride in the time of Enoch. There was a bride in the time of Noah. There was a bride in the time of, uh, of, uh, of, of, of Moses. There was a bride, a uh, foolish virgin, in the time of Moses also. Mm. Jonathan Jambers, foolish virgin. <laughs> oh, maybe the singers, I don't know, but <laughs> they were not. They did not listen to Moses. Mm -hmm. That's true. You know that they could have listened to Moses. They, they could have said, Pharaoh, this man is a servant from God, and we are going with him. Mm. There were some Egyptians that went with Israel. Yes, sir. They yeah. went 
You know, you remember there was one boy that was his father was an Egyptian or my mother was Egyptian or whatever, and and he cursed the name of the Lord and was a stone. Right? Mm hmm Because a mixed multitude went down. That's true. So there were some Egyptians that went with him. Out of the promise. To the promise. Out of Egypt. Now, brother, let us be fully following the masters. Because God is not a respecter of slaves. There was Ruth. And there was, she was not a Jew. Right? Mm -hmm. Ruth was not a Jew. I was a Jew. There was uh, Rahab. Rahab was not a Jew. Mm -hmm. Right? But she followed the message of that hour. Mm -hmm. She was part of the bride of that hour. Hallelujah. So God is not a respecter of persons say, oh, you know what? My father is a this or I am the that or, you know, I belong to that church. That is not nothing to do with God. It's got to be you and God. Amen. You know, it's got to be Enoch went in alone. Mm -hmm. Now, listen, I don't say there's one man going to go in a, mass, in a rapture. No, it's God got a bride, but it's a walk alone with God. Oh, you're going to go in that rapture alone. <laughs> you're you're, you're, you're going to go in that rapture alone based on how you follow, how you listen. Amen. Amen. Yes. That's Amen. true. Many are called, few are chosen. Wow. Hmm. God calls people according to his But I showed you, man, there's people who are going to live outside the city. It doesn't mean they're not to say it. But maybe they didn't receive the message that time. You know, some people will even be saved for a glass of water. So that's grace, brother. That's preacher by preach the message of grace. Say no, knowing that no, don't say <laughs> because you don't follow this message, you you are totally lost. You don't know that. There are some people that might have given you a glass. Did you know that, Brother Branham? That if somebody rejected this message, he asked for a glass of water. I'm wondering why. Why would Brother Branham ask somebody? That's what I heard someone said. Ask for a glass of glass of water. Oh, Hopes that person, even though the person reject the message of God, can still receive grace. Someday, Amen. Still receive grace. That's right. So, brothers, let us not write off everybody. Yes, sir. Let us let's walk the straight way, mm. the narrow way, mm. and you and God alone. Amen. You make sure that you are the Enoch. That's true. That goes in. Alone. Amen. One man with God. Let us walk with God. Right? This is Enoch. Walk with God. God bless you. Don't listen. When Wednesday night, uh, <clears throat> there's two hours, 20 minutes left. You're going to listen one hour, 10 minutes. Wednesday night, maybe second part, and then Sunday, we finish the last part of this great man. This is great man. Amen. Uh, future home. Because it's the entire span. Mm. From Genesis, from the beginning to the end. It's a great man. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Let's just stand and.